lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio, here live via Skype in England with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers in the UK, uh, sent a message through Morial TV. Hi, Jacob. I know you've answered a lot around women in ministry. However, I'm wondering if you could shed some light on women as evangelists. Could a woman be called an evangelist, or is this still the role of a man, of course, according to Scripture? Thank you so much for your question. First of all, New Testament caveats and limitations on the ministry functions of women in the body of Christ concern pastoral ministry and the teaching of doctrine to mixed groups or to men. No one says, nothing in the Word of God suggests Women cannot co-pastor with their husbands looking after or helping to look after women in the church. Nobody says women, older women in the Lord, cannot teach the younger ones. On the contrary, the New Testament <coughs> on, the con on the contrary, the New Testament says they should. So women, strictly speaking, are not prohibited even from having a pastoral role to other women or a teaching role to other women. Concerning the ministry of an evangelist or of a prophetess, the scripture says nothing. Of course women can be evangelists. Of course women can be prophetesses. We had the daughters of Philip the Patriarch. I'm sorry. We had the daughters of Philip, St. Philip the Evangelist in the Book of Acts. Women can function in prophetic ministry. Women can function in evangelistic ministry with their head covered. That is under the protective authority of a Christian husband, a Christian older brother, a Christian father, or Christian pastor, the man leadership of the church. But women may certainly function prophetically and evangelistically. Now, unfortunately, we have some very unfortunate episodes in the history of the church with women evangelists. I don't want to judge her or her final standing before the Lord. I'm sure in her heart she did love the Lord and God did use her in many instances. But we're still left with the unfortunate fact that Catherine Coleman did not have her head covered. And she ran off with the husband of another woman, of another believer in the worship group. Bore public disgrace to the name of Christ, to the body of Christ, and to herself. This is what happens when women go into evangelistic ministry, potentially, without their head covered, out of God's order. Another example of this was Amy Semple McPherson, who many people attribute with founding the Foursquare Pentecostal Church movement. Again, public scandal, open shame, disgrace, immorality, craziness. I'm not saying that those women didn't begin right. I'm not saying they ultimately weren't saved. I cannot make those judgments. But what they did was plainly wrong. When women function in ministry, any ministry, their head must be covered. This is also not to suggest that men are immune from falling. They are not. But if a woman functions in ministry without her head covered, she's inviting the devil to do his work. 
She's putting herself in a dangerous position and putting the church in a dangerous position. But yes, women can be evangelists. Women can be prophetesses. Women can even be teachers to other women. K. Arthur is, for the most part, a pretty good Bible teacher for women, the precept ministries. I know a number of women who are friends of mine who go, go to those precept groups and get no problem with it. Essentially, I'm not saying K. Arthur is perfect. I'm not perfect, but she, she's a pretty good teacher for what she does, the inductive method in teaching women and things. And women as a helpmate to their husband, who's a pastor, in that sense, function pastorally through being a helpmate to the husband and can be their husband's adjutant in pastorally, pastorally looking after women in the church. All of that is true. If you were a woman, preach the gospel same as a man does. Share your faith, witness, and if you have the gift of evangelism, use it to the glory of God. But use it in a manner that is directed by the Holy Spirit on the basis of Scripture. Under the authority of your husband, your older brother, your father, or the male leadership of the church. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you.